instead of toys for me, I'm giving them toys. You're giving who toys? Uh, people at top that don't have any toys to play with, but they're gonna. Jillian was diagnosed with brain cancer in April of 2016, at which time we spent quite a bit of time at CHOP. With our time there, we learned a lot about what goes into not only a kid's treatment, but also what keeps them happy. And a big part of that is play and toys and child life programs. When we left the hospital after spending about six months inpatient, Jillian saw that, and that was one of her concerns when we came home, was, Mommy, what's going to happen to my friends? How are they going to get gifts for Christmas time? And that's when the whole idea kind of came to fruition. And my coworker, Dan, who's a huge philanthropist, took the bull by the horns at that point in time and incorporated Jillian's wish into the Sassamassee toy drive. The original idea was 50 to 100 toys put them in the back of a few cars and take them down to the hospital. He's like, oh, Jerry will definitely put some lights and sirens on. Call Jerry, he's like, I'm 100% on board. Year one started with a super modest goal. The oncology floor at CHOP has around 50 beds. So the thought was if we can make sure that every family had toys for the holidays. So Dan and I talked and he said, how about 50 to 100 toys? That led to people donating and finding out about it. So we ended up delivering over 3,000 toys. Fast forward in May, it kind of hit us out of nowhere. We went back for a scan. She had felt fine. She looked fine. Everything seemed fine. We thought it was just going to be a routine MRI. And that night, our personal cell phone rang. And it was her oncologist calling us to let us know that the disease had spread. That's where Jerry comes into play, knowing that we were told that the expectation would be approximately six months left with Jillian. The timing of May to six months would have put us somewhere in November. Jerry pretty much knowing that the toy drive was going to be probably the last toy drive Jillian would ever be a part of. He went the extra mile to just make sure that that day was going to be special. I called him when I found out the cancer's back and it's pretty aggressive. I could tell he was choked up on the other end big time, but he's like, okay, we got to go all out. My role was as the treasurer for the police association to say, no problem, Jerry, your ideas, I'm the checkbook. Here you go, let me know what you need. She likes dogs, every canine unit, I'll get there. Horses, I mean, this is our county. We don't have horses around here. I don't know what a horse looks like, but somehow he pulls up with horse trailers, like the Clydesdales, like the big ones. Two helicopters, there was no limits. Everybody wanted to help any way they possibly could. I had never met Jerry before all of this, but upon meeting him, you just know there's people out there that do what they're supposed to do, and then there's people out there that go literally beyond the badge. <laughs> and Jerry is one of those people. It's tough to find somebody with as big of a heart. I would say I can't find anybody, let alone be as humble as he is. He's always been like that. Jillian's infectious smile, her story, her passion to do this was just absolutely amazing. So that, I, I believe, is what touched all the people in law enforcement. I, I like everyone says I, I did a lot for this, but it wasn't very hard. Everyone was still willing to help. Jerry is the type of person, when you meet him, you're automatically a friend. And this Sassy Massey toy drive never could have been what it was if he didn't find a friend in every single person he's ever met. From Pennsylvania State Police to the Delaware State Police to every department in this town and in the Lehigh Valley area and all around. Number one, it takes a lot of planning and coordination, but I think you also have to be very well liked and obviously Jerry is well liked among his peers. This is the kind of stuff he always does. Obviously this one I know for a fact it was the closest to his heart. Two weeks before that toy delivering, Jillian chose to go home to her angels. And at first, Dan had reached out to me and he said, 
we can call it off. We can, I will call Jerry. We will, at this point in time, the focus is what you guys are going through. But I said, absolutely not. The show must go on for all of us, for Jillian especially, but also for all the people that have been a part of this. And even more importantly, for all the work and effort that Jerry put in to coordinating a day of magic. So Jerry, has got a lot of tricks up his sleeve. The day of, you didn't know what was going to unfold. It was always gonna be some kind of surprise. For example, the first year, he surprised Jillian with a toy police car, which lit up her whole day. And then last year, there was an added amazing, just indescribable honor that they put together. We were in the car on the way back for breakfast. He's like, I got a surprise to tell you. I, wanna, I was going to hold it in, but I can't. I want to make her a full police officer in Ridley Township. What are you talking about? It's like badge number 150, so each of them get a badge number that's forever assigned to them, can never be anybody else, and it retires with them. Badge number 150 will forever and always be Jillian Massey. We're going to have the judge come in and swear her in. We're going to get her full uniform and the grin on them ear to ear over the moon about it. He wanted her to be as close as she could be to him and what he does every day. Jillian and Jerry's relationship just seems so effortless and natural that it's almost like he was an extended member of the family. There was an instant connection between those two. If you were to ask me in one word how I feel about Jerry, I would say I'm in awe. Never once ever did I think I would drive a police car on I-95, lights and sirens, bawling my eyes out and Jerry made it all possible. Jillian was really the true hero, and I'm extremely grateful, truly honored for this award, but I was not the only person behind this. Stan and Janelle and Jim, they reached out to me and I assisted, but it was absolutely her story. It, this is all, it was all Jillian. The first time I met her, it was like, wow, she's, uh, she's, she's amazing.